So I just want to show you how you can easily create your pin with the help of N again. So we will be using this to populate our Pinterest automatically with trending pins. Trending pins will be based on the keyword research that we're going to do. So there are a few things that we will need in order to run this automation. So we will need N again. Here I'm using the self-hosted N again. As you can see, I'm hosting it in my VPS. So I will show you guys how you can set up this speaker VPS just using a cheap service, just $5 a month, or you can set this up free in your local computer. I'm going to show it to you as well. So just hang on to this video because you will learn a lot of things here. Now, when you have your first installation of any app in your VPS or in your local computer, you will see this view. Then you're going to click this start from scratch. Now here you can create your own automation. It's really simple. But for the purpose of this, since we are going to utilize to create Pinterest pins, I already prepared a blueprint. So what you're going to do, you click this tree that's right here and click this import file. So we're going to import a file. It's available in the description below if you want to use that. So just import that. Once you import that, you will see this six steps right here. The first thing that we want to change is the connection of our Google shit. All right. I'm also going to show you how you can create a service connection. So because the first time when you don't have a connection here, you will need to create a connection to your Google account. So when you click this create new credential, we will need the service account quite effective, especially when your niche is all about body transformation, weight loss, or anything related to health. It will help you to at least get some Amazon sales, just like what I'm doing right here. Although not all these Amazon sales came from Pinterest. Some of them, maybe 80 to 25% of the sales came from Pinterest traffic. As you can see in this period, we accumulated almost 6,000 revenue for our topic now will be about meal plan calories. So I'll just go ahead and get these meal plan calories and then click on create that our board is created right here. We're now ready to create our first pin. But first of all, why we select this niche is because here, when you go to SAMrush and let's go to a keyword magic tool, if you want a free trial of SAMrush, you can check the link in the description below. This gives you seven days of guru plan, which is really helpful. And here in the Sue keyword, we're going to type meal plan. All right. And then click on search and you will see right here, you're going to have this 1,200 calorie meal plan, 1,500 calorie meal plan. So the trick that we're going to do here, we're going to modify this and include calorie meal plant and then click on search. And look at these guys. These are unlimited content with different number of calorie. All right, just like that. And here we're going to all mark this as spending just like that. Once it's all pending, so you can populate any number of keywords here to rank your automation continuously. So you can have 100 keywords or 500 keywords here and set your automatic to run every two hours or three hours. This workflow, you don't have to change any settings, but you have to change the value. So here I am using article AI generator just for simplicity because I am creating a content as well as the Pinterest pin. So here, if you go to article AI generator, they have this API key, which you can use in your automation. So you just need to populate your secret key. So in my case, I am populating backfire key here. So the username, the secret key and a keyword. So the keyword will be dynamic. It is getting from the Google shit. And here, very important, we will generate image and the image size will be nine by 16 optimized for Pinterest. The next thing that you will do is Post that to your WordPress. This is a very important trick, guys. You cannot do direct linking of Amazon affiliate link in Pinterest. You will get banned instantly. So here we will be using a WordPress and this is what we're going to do. So in Amazon, our niche is this one calorie meal plan. So here we will redirect all the traffic to this homepage calorie meal plan. So once you have this search query, we will get the link. We will be using single link for all our keto recipes. So here I will name my new category as calorie meal plan and add category. This WordPress post, I am using the service of cheapyai.online. So this is a free automation helper. So just head over to tsukitai.online, create an account. And once you have the account, go to credentials. Now in the credentials, add your WordPress. So you just need to add your WordPress right here and your WordPress URL. And then if you have the editor role in your WordPress, add it right here, the username and the password, or even if you're even your admin account, you can use that if you want. This is safe website. So don't worry, guys, nothing will happen in your account. So I tried this and a lot of people using this get with this identifier. So you, this will be the unique number that you can add in your N and N WordPress post right here. So two things that you need to three things you need to change in this step, the WordPress post, the identifier, and then your circuit AI dot online username, which can be found right here. All right. So this is different from article AI generator username. All right. Now coming back here. So everything else already set, you don't have to touch because it is set. What you just need to configure is your identifier and your username. 
And here, you get a change with the name of your category right here. So make sure you copy the correct category. So I'm just going to go back to my categories right here. And here, copy exactly the name, Pallery Meal Plan. This is an important step. Send to make webhook. So we are sending the WordPress URL, the P image, and post idol, which will be processed here in our make.com. I'm going to provide this as well. So in make.com, when you create this, you need to copy the hook here, the hook URL. So just click this copy address to clipboard and then in your edit end. So here in the step sent to make web hook, you just need to update this URL. This last step will just update your Google sheet to done. So now let's execute this. Oh, before that, here in the receive pin, all right, make sure you select the correct board. So you have to authenticate your Tinder's account and here everything else Again, it's set up if you're going to use this. So here it's coming from the web hook. It's coming from the anic and data, the pin image, title of the post a description and the alternative text. And here we're going to select this with the newly created board, which is meal plan calories. All right. So everything will be added inside that board. So click on save. And here, if you want to run this, make sure you huggle this immediately as data receives. Let's run the automation of NA10. So you can see here, it's gathering the first keyword. Now it's creating the article. Let's check the Google shit. So you can see here, it's Marcus Dunn. Now let's check our Pinterest. We should now see a new pin right here. Let me refresh. Great, that's it guys. That's our first pin right there. And if we click these, so this is the 1200 calorie meal plan. And what's good about this, it has the link. We did not add the Amazon link directly in Pinterest. Click the in mind, otherwise your Pinterest will be banned forever. Make sure you had the link to your website. So click visit. And this is the exact post that also get created in our Anik and automation. So you can see right here and look at this check pricing in Amazon. So when you click this, you will see here exactly 1200 calorie meal plan. So that's exactly the query that we add and we will have the tag. So that means we are using our own tag. And once someone per case, anything from here, the commission will go to our account, Amazon account. So you can go to this website called headcenter.com, another affiliate of this, or I'm not running any big promotion. So I'm just using this for the purpose of this video. And if I want to create the S because it's one of the cheapest I found. Now you're going to add a server and you're going to select this EU central. That's the cheapest you can find. And just simply select boom to all the default option and select RM. 64, it doesn't matter, even if you select x86 and just select this very first CPU right here. So it's just 3.62 euro. I'm not sure how you convert, how much if you convert it to dollar, but I don't think there's a big gap right there. And that's all the configuration you need. So click this create and you can see here, once it got created, we'll just copy this and open your terminal. You just need to type SSH root app and then paste the IP address. Now the password is sent to your email. So you just need to access your email, paste the password, and now here, it will ask you to change your password for the first time. So just paste again your current password and here type your new password. All right, once your password has been set up, go to this oh, right here, this website, the installation guide for Docker. So we will be installing Docker. We will install in it and buy a Docker. All right, so here, just go straight to this one starting and end. So here, we're gonna copy this and run that in your DPS. And if you don't have Docker installed, it will prompt you some instruction to install the Docker. Guys, I'm going to delete this because there is an image that we can use directly with the Docker. So let me just delete the server and I need to add it again. So here, the same thing, we're going to select this. And here in the OS images, instead of just selecting Ubuntu, go to apps and here, install this with Docker CE. All right. Oh, that's it. Again, create and buy now. So same process. You can have to update your password. So it's in your email once you set up a new VPS server. Now this has already Docker, so we won't be having the same error. So we can go straight to this starting in again. So actually guys, you don't need to run exactly follow this because it will result to some error in your ing. -ing. I already found a solution for that. So we won't be going to anywhere. So this is the command that you're going to run. All right. I will be adding this in the description below. So you just need to replace with the new IP, this one, this two, just replace it with the IP of your server right here. Oh, let me copy everything. So just copy this and come back to your DTS terminal. So just paste that right here directly, hit an enter. So just wait for a few minutes. So after that, that's done. So to access your N -ink N, so this is the URL, your IP, and then the port will be 5678. Now copy this. 
and load that in your browser. So this is the first screen that you will see once you have the fresh setup of your end and in your VPS, the same screen that you will see also in your local when you set it up. I'm gonna show you later. So let me just log in or create my new account. And that's it. We have created our N and N so it, you can get started. So you can skip this license and here you go. That's your first set of your, of your Anik. And now I'm going to show you how you can set up your Google console service account. Click this, uh, start from scratch. So as we did earlier, we can import the blueprint that I've provided in the description below. So click this import file. And this is the same step that I provided you. So you will notice right here, we've got the indication here because we don't have the service account yet. So double click this and here, tick this create new credential. Now click this service account and we will go to Google console dashboard. Here in your Google console dashboard, the first thing that you will need to do is here in the search, type in uh, shit right here and select the Google shit API because I already enabled it. So it's enabled for me, but in your case, you will see a button that says enable. So click on enable. Now the second, step again in the same search bar search drive all right this google drive api same thing you just need to enable it once both google drive and google shit are enabled so here click this hamburger menu and you will see right here the apis and services click this financials now this was the service account i created earlier i'm going to create a new one for you so just click this create credentials and choose service account right here and you get a name or service account and it and vps now it will generate the email address right here. We will use that later and click on create and continue. Now in the permission, make sure you select owner. All right, it's very important. Select owner and that's it. Click on done. All right, our service account is now created. So this is that service account and, a and VPS. Now click this inside that service account, click this keys and click this add key and click new. Now make sure you select JSON and click on create. It will download a JSON file, which we will open. Okay, so it's the JSON file that we will be using. So first, this is the email address. So copy this email address, go to your NA10 settings and paste the service account email right here. And now we will need a private key, which is also here in the same JSON. But make sure you format the private key right here because it is using this backslash N. So you're going to copy all this, everything till the end. So scroll to the right. It's quite long and copy till here without the double quote. Open a blank notepad right here and paste that. And we will need to remove this. So you're going to copy this string, the backslash N and that to control F and make sure you tag go to replace and rig blank. So again, backslash N and replace it with blank and then replace all. So you will see remit everything. Now the next step is you can see right here, the begin private key. Make sure you go to the last heart dash and click enter once. So the begin private key, this whole thing here will be at the top and scroll down. You do that also here at the bottom. So in the beginning of this first, I find the one enter and then it will be right here. And that's what you need to copy. So everything and kill here, copy this, go back your egg. And that's what you need to copy here in the private key, paste that right there. And that's it. Now click on save. You will see that the connection will be successful. If everything is correct, you can save. You'll see connection test in successfully. So that means you've successfully created your service account. Now the last step, copy this and Every time you create a new spreadsheet here under, under the same Google console account, Google account. So I'm using the same Google account. Every time you create a new spreadsheet, the configuration that you need to do is click this share and here the email that you copied, the service account email, you need to paste it correct here. And that's it. When you paste that nature, you set to editor. So you can untick this notify people, click on share this one here, like share. And that's it. You're now sharing it to the service account. So do that every time you create a new Google spreadsheet here in your account. Now going back to our mechanic. And so now it says you can close this. You will notice here, look at this. You are able to be able to see this one meal plan. Okay. So it says from list and you can now select meal plan. And then this one right here and the configuration will be as is. So if you want to test the connection, you can just click on execute and there you go. Yep. It's getting a pending status right there. So the same settings that you will do here in the last step, so just choose this same service account right there and it will load by itself. So make sure you choose your mail plan. So that's the name of the spreadsheet. Select that and it will automatically load all the values and the keys that we set earlier. So you can take execute, but it will mark it as done. So don't do it. 
Yeah, just execute it in the second row. So look at this. So the warning icon disappeared that is add up. And you can proceed again, the same thing that we did earlier, changing the username based on your article AI generator username, changing the secret key, and also the word post pose. Here, changing the username, changing identifier, and changing the category name right here. That's it, guys. So that's how you're going to set up in your TTS. Now, if you want to run that locally, it's very simple. The only thing, thing that you're going to change here, remove the Anik and host and the webhook URL. So right here, these two you're going to remove. So make sure you remove it correctly and just keep this configuration. All right. So run that in your local. So I'm just going to do that now. So here in my new terminal, so I'm just going to paste it right there. Reminder guys, before you run this again, before you run, since this is our local computer, you're going to have to download Docker Desktop right here. So click this Docker Desktop, download that in your Windows or in your Mac before you run this command. All right, so let me run that command because I already have the Docker installation. Let me run this in my local. You will see here the same installation doing in your local computer, the same thing as it did in our VPS. The only difference is this is our local, so you will see it once it's completed. And when you see that everything is complete right here, Remember earlier how we run in our local using the IP right here. Now this time we just got to replace it with localhost. So, so this is how you're going to do it. Localhost and then the port will be 5678. Now hit on enter and there you go. You now have your local host set up. So when you're not shutting down your computer, you can install an egg and in your local machine for free. Okay. So wrap for free without paying to VPS service. And the same thing, you can just import the file that we imported earlier. So just fill this up and create the same service account. You don't have to create actually another service account. You can reuse your service account here just by populating the same data right here, the same details. The important thing is the client email and the private key. And that's it. You can run the same thing. So I think that's what can I want to cover in this video. And if you have more questions, just leave in the comment below and all the things I've used, the N8 and uh, Jason's and also the make.com webhook. It's all in the description below. You can just download it and set up for yourself, or you can just follow everything. If you're familiar with automation, you can create it your own. All right. I guess give you some idea on how you can proceed. Uh, that's it. I see you on the next one.